Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God. The earth and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful. To to live together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Sing to God with joy and gladness, in the songs of gratitude. With the voice of praise discover that to worship God is good. God unites his scattered people, gathers those who wandered far, heals the heart and broken spirit. Move among us, God, give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With your spirit of freedom sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, Let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God, May God forgive, forgive you, forgive you. Christ, Christ renew, you, renew you, and the Spirit, and the Spirit enable, enable you to, to grow, grow in, in love. love. Amen. Before, Before God, God, with the, the people, people of God, 
we confess to turning away from God in the ways we ruined our lives, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to enable you to grow in love. Amen. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. Psalm 139 You search me, God, and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my thoughts from afar. You are familiar with all my ways. Where I go, what I do, and you know every word before I say it. Your presence is all around me. You lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is beyond my understanding. Is there anywhere I could go where you were not there before me? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I bed down in hell, there I meet you. If I took the wings of the morning and lived beyond the horizon, even there your hand would find me, your right hand would hold me fast. If I asked darkness to cover me and the daylight turned into night, the darkness would not be dark to you. Night would be as bright as day. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. Prevent me from doing what offends you and lead me in the everlasting way. Listen now in scripture for the word and wisdom of God. The reading is taken from Paul's second letter to Timothy chapter 1 and verses 13 to 18. What you heard from me, keep as the pattern of sound teaching with faith and love in Christ Jesus. Guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you. Guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. You know that everyone in the province of Asia has deserted me including Phygelus and Hermogenes. May the Lord show mercy to the household of Onesiphorus, because he often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chains. On the contrary, when he was in Rome, he searched hard for me until he found me. May the Lord grant that he will find mercy from the Lord on that day. You know very well in how many ways he helped me in Ephesus.
For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Hovering on the chaos of the world's first day She sighs and she sings, mother in creation Waiting to give birth to all the world will say She wings over earth, resting where she wishes Lighting close at hand or soaring through the skies She nests in the womb, welcoming each wonder Nourishing potential hidden to our eyes She dances in fire, startling her spectators Waking tongues of ecstasy where dumbness reigned She wins and inspires all whose hearts are open Nor can she be captured, silenced or restrained For she is the spirit, one with God in Gifted by the Savior in eternal love She is the key, opening the scriptures Enemy of apathy and heavenly Living God, with devotion we pray, as we are aware of your presence, open ourselves to your blessing and find in you the peace for which we yearn. Loving God, in gratitude we pray, for the gifts of life and love, for the companionship of Jesus and all God's people on our pilgrim journey, for times of wonder and beauty, revelation and understanding, hope and faith. Healing God, bringing our concerns, we pray, for you place us in community and not isolation. So may your healing touch restore those who suffer in body, mind or spirit, Bring peace to those who are living with loss. Give hope to all who have an uncertain future. Ever-present God, our Creator, Christ, our Companion, Holy Spirit, our Comforter, hear these prayers and the silent cries of all our hearts. Amen. We pray for the priorities and concerns of the Iona community, for the world, for members of the Iona community and their families, and for associate members. On the sixth day of the month, we pray for the ecumenical movement, ecumenical organisations and bodies in our own countries and worldwide, the Iona Cathedral Trustees. And we pray for the leaders and peoples of the countries of Austria, Liechtenstein, Switzerland, Germany, Belgium, Luxembourg and the Netherlands. We pray for the Irish community members belonging to the family group of Central Scotland. Jenny Barr, Alan Miller and Lucy Miller, Betty Milne 
Joyce Muir and Ken, Margaret Stewart and Frank. On the sixth day of this month, we pray for associate members in Fife. Walk with them today, O God, and keep us on your way. Jesus, you have set before us a great hope that your kingdom will come on earth and have taught us to pray for its coming. Make, Make us, us ready, ready to celebrate, celebrate the signs of its dawning, dawning and, and to pray, pray and, and work, work for the perfect, perfect day, day when your, when your will, will shall be done, done on earth, earth as, as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Amen. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We, we will rejoice and, and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek peace and pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God, God in, in community, community, holy and one. If you 